Hey everybody, this is Barry Zito, and this is uh, factoring ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, now it, um, before you watch this, make sure you looked at uh, section 9.9, .9, which is called factoring by grouping. You guys, I teach this method by factoring by grouping method, and it, boy, it's the bomb. Uh, it eliminates all the guessing and checking that uh, probably your algebra teacher is doing. And uh, you know, if you're good at guessing and checking, I'm not. Uh, I lose patience with it. Um, this way always works, you guys. So here's the steps to factoring ax squared plus bx plus c when a is not 1, okay? And I'm going to show you by example with this one. We're going to factor 15x squared plus 16x plus 4. So the first thing we do is we multiply 8 times c, okay? So here it's going to be 15 times 4, and 15 times 4 equals 60. The next thing we do is we look for other factors of this 60, okay, that add to this 16. Okay, this middle term right here. So factors of 60 that add to 16, obviously, are 10 times 6. So the next thing we do is we're going to replace this 16x with these two numbers, 10x and 6x. Okay, so there it is right there, 10x plus 6x, 15x squared plus 10x plus 6x plus 4. All right, and then, again, uh, you have to have watched the factoring by grouping lesson, which is uh, section 9.9. Go watch that if you haven't yet. That won't make sense, you guys. So here we go. We're going to factor this by grouping. I'm going to group these two terms first together. What can you pull out of both those guys? I can pull a 5x out. I can pull a 2 out of both those guys. And watch what happens, you guys. When I pull a 5x out of this guy, I get 3x plus 2. When I pull a 2 out of this guy, I get 3x plus 2. Now remember, factoring is the opposite of multiplying. If I put, if I said multiply this 5x through, I get 15x squared. 5x times that is 10x. It just get me right back up there. So factoring is the opposite. Now notice they both have a red 3x plus 2. So I'm going to pull that red 3x plus 2 out, and I'm left with the blue stuff. 5x plus 2. There it is, factored. If I foil that stuff out, it get me that polynomial that we started with. Okay, let's try it again with this one. I'm going to go ahead and multiply 3 times negative 5. Watch the negatives. Is negative 15. Other factors of negative 15 that add to positive 14 are positive 15 times negative 1. So I'm going to replace that 14 with 15p minus 1p. Okay? Factor by grouping. All right? Okay, so um, notice when I when I put parentheses around it, I pulled the negative out, and it's going to change that, that negative sign to a positive sign. Because imagine if I put this negative back through and make that a negative, and then make this a negative. So when you pull a negative out, it's going to change that guy to a positive. Okay, I can pull a 3p out of these guys, and I can pull a 1 out of these guys, and watch what happens. I get a common factor, p plus 5. Okay, remember, if you're wondering what happened, just multiply 3p through. 3p times that gets me that. Negative 1 times that gets me that. Negative 1 times that gets me that. Okay, now notice they both have a p plus 5. I'm going to pull that out. There it is. And I left the red stuff. Okay, Try it with this one. Okay, whenever your quadratic term is negative, we're going to first pull out the negative. The quadratic term is your x squared term. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and multiply 4 times negative 7 is negative 28. Factors of negative 28 to add to this guy are negative 14 times 2. All right, so I'm going to replace it, uh, that negative 12, with negative 14x plus 2x. There's my negative 12x right there. Don't lose that negative. A lot of kids want to lose that negative. That gets stayed right out there. Okay, out of these two guys, I can pull a 2x out. The only thing I can pull out of these two guys is a 1. Okay, but that's good. All right, so let's go ahead and pull the 2x out, and I'm left with um, 2x minus 7. When I pull the 1 out, I'm left with 2x minus 7. See how they have the common 2x minus 7s? I'm going to pull that out, and you're left with the red stuff, 2x plus 1. Okay, there's the negative right there. Okay, don't forget the negative. All right, okay, let's try, uh, let's try this uh, solving some of these. All right, so this one... I don't want that to be negative right there, so I'm going to go ahead and since there's an equal sign, I'm going to divide both sides by a negative 1 to get rid of the negative. Okay, now this one's a good, this one I would guess and check on, you guys, because 2y squared is only going to get me get from 2y times y. Okay, so there's 2y times y. 3 is only 1 times 3, so I either got to put the 1 here and the 3 here, or the 3 here and the 1 here. Let's put the 3 here for a second. 3 times 2y for outer times outer is 6y. And then I'd add the 1 times y is 7y, so I want 5y. So the 3's got to go here. 3y, and then put the 1 here, plus 2y. Yep, that's 5y, okay? So there you go. All right, and then set those factors equal to 0. All right, and then uh, subtract the 3, and then uh, there you go. There's the answer right there. Let's try another one. Okay, multiply 
6 times negative 4 is negative 24. Factors of negative 24 are negative 8 times 3. Going to go ahead and replace that with uh, uh, negative 8 times uh, plus 3. GCF out out of the first two, out of the second two, and you get um, uh, those as your final answers right there, okay? Factoring by grouping is the bomb, you guys. Good work. There's your homework, you guys, for my classes anyways. Take care.